All right, so Herschel Walker, the former UGA football player and current GOP Senate candidate trying to take that seat from Raphael Warnock here in Georgia, has been having pretty insane statements and scandals over the last couple of weeks. So I wanted to show you guys some of the latest on this because this is a guy who is clearly suffering from, uh, I think, CTE and actual legitimate brain damage from his uh, time playing in uh, college football as well as the NFL. And I don't say that just to be hyperbolic or just as a this, but uh, genuinely this guy struggles to string together coherent thoughts and sentences and I think you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about here when we watch this first clip. So here is Herschel Walker on the climate and the Green New Deal slash clean air. So let's just go ahead and jump into this clip. He got rid of the pipeline. Get rid of the pipeline. Get rid of our energy. Start this downfall because we need energy for everything. Do y'all know that? And they were talking about the Green New Deal. You know, climate change. I'm gonna help y'all with that real quickly, and I'm gonna do it in the Wrightsville way, so you can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> we, in America, have some of the cleanest air and cleanest water of anybody in the world. So what we do is, we're gonna put from the Green New Deal, millions or billions of dollars cleaning our good air up. So all of a sudden China and India ain't putting nothing in there cleaning that situation up. So all that bad air is still there. But since we don't control the air, our good air decided to float over to China, bad air. So when China gets our good air, that bad air gotta move. So it moves over to our good air space. And now we gotta clean that back up. All right, so yeah, I mean, you try to tell me exactly what his point there was, that air from the United States, which is apparently the cleanest air and water in the world, is somehow going to magically be traveling to China, and we're gonna swap places with China's air, and they're gonna ship their air over here to the United States, which is uh, United States, which is bad air, and so we're gonna have to clean up China's air. What the fuck is he talking about? I mean, this guy is completely out of his goddamn mind. And again, you know, obviously somebody who I do think legitimately has has CTE brain damage from his time playing college football uh, to some degree you kind of feel bad for the guy because uh, you know especially college football and the NFL they've spent years uh, lying about the science behind this covering it up and you know exploiting their uh, workers in this case these uh, NFL players they've you know really been absolutely atrocious in handling the brain damage that is associated with extended periods of uh, playing football so to some degree you kind of feel bad for him but at the same time don't run for fucking Senate I mean that really shouldn't be that controversial for the same reasons why I'm critical of somebody like uh, Diane Feinstein continuing to be in the Senate when she clearly is struggling from cognitive decline and probably uh, either Alzheimer's or dementia. You know, again, at one level, you kind of feel sympathy for a person like that. I myself, I've had multiple family members who have gone through Alzheimer's and dementia, uh, not something that I would wish on my worst enemy, but nonetheless, that, you know, sympathy that you have on an individual level has absolutely nothing to do uh, with whether or not these people are qualified to be at the highest levels of power within our government and I think that uh, clearly Herschel Walker both in terms of his mental struggles that he has been going through and also in terms of his basic complete uh, disconnection with reality is obviously not qualified to be a senator um, but nonetheless this was just one of the most insane statements that he has brought up recently uh, to show you that it's not just cherry picking something that was out of context we also had uh, this recent statement that came out just in uh, March of this year here from NPR they say Georgia GOP Senate candidate Herschel Walker questions evolution so he said, at one time, science said man came from apes, did it not? Walker said on Sunday at Sugar Hill Church in Sugar Hill, Georgia, during an onstage interview. And lead pastor Chuck Allen responded, every time I, I read or hear that, I think to myself, you just didn't read the same Bible I did. And Her uh, Herschel Walker responded saying, that's what's interesting though. If it's true, then why are there still apes? Think about it think about it. Uh, if we came from apes, why are there still apes? Well, again, not really sure that I have to provide any pushback to this. I think most people understand how evolution works. Uh, we don't, you know, we didn't descend from modern apes or chimpanzees or bonobos uh, that exist right now on the face of the planet. We share a common ancestor with them, and uh, they branched off over time into the uh, various different types of apes that we have uh, alive on planet Earth. So, you know, not too much of a complicated concept to understand, but then again, neither is climate change or the Green New Deal, which none of these subjects 
subjects he seems to have even a, a you know uh, middle school level of understanding on which is kind of sad and embarrassing but at the same time he's running for a high position within our government so he shouldn't just be laughed at uh, he should also be you know firmly pushed back on against these uh, claims that he's making I don't even think uh, that Herschel Walker honestly could define or outline the basics of what the Green New Deal even is I think if you asked him he would probably say something like well they want to get rid of your hamburgers and uh, take down planes and shit like that uh, ignoring the fact that the Green New Deal is mostly first and foremost a jobs program for the future uh, creating millions of good paying union jobs for the future uh, sustainability with climate change and trying to push back against some of the most disastrous con uh, consequences that will come as a result of climate change so you know, again, not really sure why I'm even uh, providing any actual substantive pushback to this because he doesn't have any substance in basically any of the statements that he makes. But uh, in addition to these just absolutely idiotic things that he has been saying recently, we also had more scandals on top of that, specifically centering around Herschel Walker lying about the fact that he has multiple kids uh, that he wasn't identifying either to his campaign or to the public. Now, normally you could say this was just like some personal shit. Why does this even matter? Well, it kind of matters because Herschel Walker has been relentlessly uh, attacking the black community specifically for uh, fatherlessness. And so this is a guy who has literally been going out and preaching these values that he himself is not even abiding by, by literally concealing some of his own children and, uh, you know, not being a father to them. So here from Business Insider on some of that controversy, controversy, they say Herschel Walker's staff reportedly doesn't trust him after repeated lies about how many children he has. So they say the campaign staff working for Herschel Walker, a Georgia Republican Senate candidate, is reportedly fed up with the former professional football player and his repeated lies about his children. The Daily Beast reported on Thursday that Walker lied to his own campaign staffers for months about children that he had fathered that he kept secret while simultaneously continuing his years-long crusade against absent fathers. And on June 15th, the Beast broke the news that he heard rumors or that the rumors about Walker were true and that he had at least one undisclosed child. Uh, and they say up until that point, Walker had only publicly acknowledged one child, his absolutely delusional conservative reactionary son, uh, Christian Walker. And they say, according to Thursday's Beast report, Walker's own campaign had anticipated about him lying about his children and had conducted its own research before the news broke. And they say he's lied so much that we don't even know what's true, one campaign advisor told the Daily Beast. So his own campaign staff knew that he was a, a pathological liar and decided to do research behind his back to uncover that he was hiding multiple other children. And he lied to them about this, okay, even after they'd already conducted their own uh, research into this and found out that he did have these other children. But uh, in addition to hiding these other children, they also say here that um, it's not just the children that gnaw at Walker's staff. According to the Daily Beast, Walker's aides are befuddled by a candidate who won't listen to them. They ridicule his intelligence and fear his mood swings and instability. And this is something that he has a violent history of. Uh, they say Walker has been open about his diagnosis of disassociative identity disorder and has said that he was once prone to violent urges. And Cindy Gro Grossman, Walker's ex-wife, alleged that he once pointed a gun at her head and threatened to kill her. So again, not exactly somebody who has the mental capacity or the intelligence or the uh, coherent grasp on reality that would require being a uh, U.S. senator. And so uh, on top of that, we have him going up against Raphael Warnock, who obviously I have uh, plenty of criticisms for. I do think that he's uh, definitely marginally better than most of the other corporate Democrats within the party, but uh, this is who Herschel Walker is going up against. And um, um, you know, you can, you can see here from the polling data, we got the RCP average. They say Warnock is only up by 1.6 points, okay, on average, 1.6%. So that's within the margin of error uh, between this guy, Herschel Walker, who literally has no idea what the fuck is going on around him versus somebody like Raphael Warnock, who again, I have my many criticisms of him, but the comparison here, I mean, you might as well not do a comparison. There is no comparison between uh, Raphael Warnock and uh, Herschel Walker in terms of their policy substance, in terms of their grasp of reality, in terms of uh, literally, literally any other measure that you could possibly ask for in terms of who would be a better uh, Senate representation for the people of Georgia. But uh, nonetheless, even with these absolutely insane statements and scandals, seems like this race is pretty close. So it'll be interesting to see exactly how this plays out. Uh, but obviously, Herschel Walker, uh, unstable, not attached to reality, and definitely not somebody who should be uh, sitting at one of the highest positions of power within the United States government.